In every phase of history, there have been persons with new charisma, new perceptions, under the inspiration of God to protect, care, and nurture. The year 1789, the Western world barely recovered from the shock of the French Revolution, and the world was being rapidly transformed by new science, new philosophy, new technology, and finally, the new vision of God. Freemasonry went on rapidly extending its power, undermining faith and religion. It was in the socio-political religious scenario that God raised up Father Raimundo dos Anjos Bairao, the Vincent de Paul of Portugal. He was born on the 8th of March, 1810, in a pious family in Portugal. At the age of 16, he joined the Third Order Regular of St. Francis of Assisi and became an ordained priest. In 1820, revolution took place between the liberals and the absolutists. In the year 1834, religious orders were banned by the liberals. Father Beirao and other monks abandoned the convent. With the expulsion of the religious orders, the situation of the country degenerated ever more. Schools, orphanages and hospitals were closed down. Religious houses went into ruins. There was an unceasing proof of the lonely, the homeless, the abandoned, of the old without support, the children without protection, the sick without anyone to care for. The piercing hearts of the reality awakened in the heart of Father Raimundo a new dream to start a congregation that will respond to such misery and need. In the mid-19th century, when the winds of history were restless and stormy, God raised up another charismatic soul. She was noble by birth and noble at heart. She was royal and beautiful. She was ambitious like any one of us. Her name was Libania. She was born on the 15th of June, 1843, at Amadora, Portugal. At the peak of her teenage, a terrible epidemic of yellow fever spread throughout Portugal, and Libania lost her parents, lost her security, and became an orphan. In the orphanage, her life was filled with darkness and pain. But deep within her, she heard a voice, Courage, Libania! Courage. As an adolescent, Libania took shelter as a boarder at the house of St. Patricio in Lisbon. It was here she encountered Father Raimundo dos Anjos Beirao, who often visited the sisters for their spiritual needs. Attracted by the life of the sisters, she confided her desire to Father Beirao, who became her spiritual father and guide. Father Beirao guided her to enter the religious life. Thus, Royal Libania became Sister Maria Clara of the Child Jesus. She professed her vows on April 14, 1871. With the support and guidance of Father Raimundo, she founded the first community. They were called the Franciscan Hospitaller Sisters of the Immaculate Conception. Soon the congregation grew in number, and young and old alike joined her company to serve God and his people. Within five years, on 27th March 1876, the congregation was approved by Pope Pius IX. Despite many trials and tribulations, this new religious institute continued to grow rapidly all over the world with a sole motto, to do good where good needs to be done. The pioneer Franciscan Hospitaller Sisters were inflamed by the love of Sister Maria Clara as they worked closely with her. Sister Maria Clara opened orphanages to care for the orphans. 
the sisters mingled with the youth as one among them and shared the love and compassion of Christ. Caring for the elders and the sick has been the flagship apostolate right from the conception of the institute. They reached out to the destitute, clothed the naked and gave food to the hungry. Maria Clara opened her convent kitchen to the hungry to feed them. It was popularly known as Soup Kitchen. Maria Clara molded her sisters into being perfect angels of consolation to the sick and the poor. This tenderness and unrestrained mercy took the sisters of Mother Clara to be the first to venture out into overseas missions to the continents of Africa, Asia, America and Europe. Today, the Franciscan Hospitala sisters across the globe have engaged themselves in various apostolates. Health care, elderly care, educational apostolate, pastoral apostolate, and social apostolate. Despite her extraordinary courage, in spite of her profound generosity, her good and sensitive heart, wounded by so much pain and trouble, approached the end. On 1st December 1899, Libania, known as Mother Clara, left this world and joined the heavenly choirs of angels. Mother Maria Clara was beatified as Blessed Maria Clara on May the 21st, 2011, by Pope Benedict XVI, who approved the fact that she had lived a life of heroic virtue. Today, Blessed Maria Clara, the light, still is and will continue to shine brightly to illumine the warm here and beyond in the life of each Franciscan Hospitaller sister. Skin hospital sisters of the immaculate conception. We are chosen and consecrated by a God to follow Jesus Christ in fraternity. We call to serve our brothers and sisters. All those with needs of various kinds Guided by the spirit of the Beatitudes Continually renewing heart and mind We are the Franciscan Hospital Sisters Of the Immaculate Conception are chosen and consecrated by our God to follow Jesus Christ in fraternity. Produced by the More Media India.